Hello, and thank you for joining us today to learn about airbrush safety. Today, I will be using the Tandy Craft Tool All-in-One Airbrush System to demonstrate and talk about some of the safety tips that Tandy recommends. In this rig, like most airbrushing systems, we have three main components. The first will be our handle. The handle includes your trigger, tip, the ability to control airflow, and the mount for where you're going to load your cup with lid and attach your power source. Once you have your airbrush system ready to go, the next step is to decide what you're going to be airbrushing. There are lots of different materials that are safe for using in airbrushing, and there are many more that are not. It is important when using your airbrush to use products that are appropriate for this method of application. Please never use the EcoFlow water stains as they are not meant to be aerated. Instead, Products like the Angelus line of both finishers and paints, as well as the EcoFlow finishes like Satin Sheen, are much more acceptable for this sort of application method. Additionally, you want to remember to use your PPE. PPE, or personal protection equipment, can range and mean a variety of different things. Generally speaking, glasses or goggles to protect your eyes, masks or respirators to protect your nose, mouth, and lungs, as well as things like aprons or gloves to protect your hands and skin. Make sure you are in a well-ventilated area. Tandy does not recommend airbrushing indoors without the appropriate setup and ventilation. Make sure to wear your PPE at all times especially when airbrushing in small or tight areas. Look into any method that you can, all the way up to airbrushing outdoors in an open, unenclosed space. <laughs> 